I hope that I hope fish fucker gets fucked up. Well, it did now because now we're recording. It's my it's my it's my it's yes. being out. Yes, it is. Uh, welcome to another episode of this Pathfinder game. Yes. See, we'll let's start off this episode by saying graphic content warning. This episode's going to get a little sexy. Is it? It's going to get sexy. Is it? But, yep. Yes. Oh boy. We already did we that with warn... werewolf. What's wrong with you? No, this is the bad kind. Uh, oh. We did find a we did find a, a stall full of cum last session. So. Yeah. As a rule, I am very unsexy. This is going to be a problem. See. Yes. See, if, if, so, if there's one thing you know about Sean is that he knows he knows the moves. Does he? He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. So turn this on. Now recording. Insurance yeah, policies up. Just in case my computer decides to fuck itself again, but I think I've got it fixed. My SATA drive either has my SATA drive either has a kernel virus on it, or it has a bad sector. It's one or the other. It's got the kernel virus. Uh, yeah, sadly. But so I'm gonna take it out back, and I'm gonna give it a uh, the old yeller treatment with a sledgehammer. It's got the kernel secret recipe. Sadly. I'm very disappointed. I just went to Google and I typed in Colonel Secret Recipe and the Boondocks reference did not come up. Aww. Ah. <laughs> That's just the we, predicted, we predicted the future with Popeyes. I mean, I like Popeyes, so... I just had Popeyes for dinner. Nice. Yes, yeah, whenever it's a Thursday, I always go to Popeyes and I eat the chicken there. The uh, episode like... of the Itis might be the best episode of television ever. Yeah. Can't serve uh, that, it's, Grandpa. It's... It'll cause dead. The yeah. <laughs> 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 itis when grand when Granddad opens the uh, restaurant. Yeah. He makes the Luther yeah. Vandross, the 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 bacon cheeseburger mm -hmm. on two Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> yeah. And, and the meat is like so big you just can't wrap your mouth around it. <laughs> And he goes, it, 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 yeah, it was, it was created by Luther Vandross. I'm naming it the Luther. And he goes, but Luther Vandross is dead. And he goes, well, I don't see your point. <laughs> so, so, looking at like the place being called the Itis, like, would you eat at a place that's just titled that? Probably not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a Depends on the menu. And good. We'll open a restaurant and we'll call it the Rona. The tables were beds. So you could take yes. a nap afterwards. Yes. Yeah, it's just I just don't worry about it. I mean, I would uh, question whether uh, or not you get new uh, seats on for like every uh, guest, but and, and of course they they gave their um very abridged synopsis of Soul Food, and I checked that movie out because of that episode, and the whole shtick of that movie is supposed to be about keeping traditions alive. But I don't think that was, that's a tradition to keep alive. That's, that was 100% his whole little synopsis. You just gave the synopsis that, that Huey gave. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody goes on that. Like, yeah, you can still have the family dinner, just eat something else. You need to. Yeah. The other movie you need to watch from the Boondocks is Friday. That movie is so <laughs> weird. Dude, I every Friday. Fr I fucking Friday, love that Friday, movie. Friday after next. It's so good, dude. <laughs> You heard Ice Cube talk about making that movie, right? Because he said he watched Boys in the Hood and Juice. And he was looking at one of his Both friends movies. while watching Juice, and he said, y you Do you remember this being the hood experience? Like, did nobody laugh or smile back then? So that's why he made Friday. Uh, another great, uh, great, great black entertainment movie. Fucking Barbershop. The first the Barbershop? barbershop? was amazing. I love the first barbershop. Uh, what about uh, Juana Man? I never saw Juana Man. <laughs> Juana Man? No you, you, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, Choking I, him. <laughs> no, I know. I, I've, I, I've seen the coming attraction for it. Y'all forget how old I am. But no, I have not seen Juana Man. <laughs> See, this is... I can't call it a bad comedy because it did get me to laugh out loud, but it's not a good movie. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, that was Meepian. Hello. Meepian, have you me. seen Juana Man? Have I seen what? Juana Man. 
No. I, at some point in the future, we have to cancel a session and we're all going to watch Duana Man. Oh, <laughs> we're just going to have a, a bad movie night one time. Yeah, watch party. We're, yeah. see, we're going to see Genuine do the worst performance of his career. We're going to watch. <laughs> what was, Sean, what was that? What was that one that you keep talking? It was the Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ Vampire Hunter. Yeah, that's the one. Vampire Hunter. Yeah, no, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter is. The, I, the only way you could do a watch party with that is if everyone who's in the watch party was either drunk or high or both. Because you yeah. can't, you can't do that movie sober. It's just not. We're, we're gonna jack up it. the atheist scene super loud. One hundred percent. What's what's another good bad movie we can watch? Uh, Eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> what? Okay, right, watch, let me ask uh... John, what? What's what was your what's... least favorite movie ever? <laughs> That you've ever seen. What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Eight, eight Crazy Nights. Aragon. Transformers 3. Aragon. <laughs> Aragon. Um, Aragon. That's I, there, yeah. I enjoyed Eight Crazy Nights. Deep Impact for me. Yeah. Hey, where Deep were you, Sean, when you first saw Eight Crazy Nights? Movie. I never saw Eight Crazy Nights. Thankfully. Well, that's the well, animated Adam saw... Sandler, right? Yeah. yeah, where were you when you saw yeah. Deep Impact? Actually, I saw that in the movie. I was in high school. But Dude, literally, I know exactly. Is, there is a uh, a comet coming and it's about to destroy humanity. So as a result, uh, these two 16 year olds decide they're in love and they get married. The end. Um, I'm looking at the movie too, and I know exactly what kind of movie that's going to be based off the poster. It was so bad. I, I like it was hard to watch. Like. Because I can watch really oh. bad movies, ironically, and still enjoy them. I couldn't enjoy this. No. Like, Waterworld gets a lot of shit, but it's actually a fun movie if you just sit there and watch it. What's another really bad one? Uh, the Knowing? I never saw Jack that. and oh. Jill. Uh, fucking Jack ha and Jill. Halloween I literally ends. just watched that Saturday. <laughs> Have you guys seen Halloween <laughs> Ends? Yes, no, it is man. so fucking bad. Like my me, and my sister, and her girlfriend. I hooked up the projector outside, and we all watched it, and it was so hilariously bad. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just like the Hulk, but it's a horror movie. Everybody's just unreasonably mean to the sky, just for <laughs> for something that happened like ten years ago. It's so dumb. And then he goes crazy and starts killing people. It's stupid as shit. Yeah, well, well, can watch. Um, uh, we can watch the Legend of Ricky O. Uh, oh, I saw that. That movie kicks ass, <laughs> dude. Fucking brain uh, we also, dead too. We can also watch uh, Legend of the Overfiend. I've not seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have. Uh, you want... yeah. Really, you should <laughs> rewatch Jack and Jill. That movie's way worse than you remember yeah. it. There's can, a can Jared me... Ogle cameo there's a oh. fucking what oh. in jack and jill holy shit i'm not even joking there is a jared fogel cameo oh my god next to two like what i can assume are hookers that look way too young yeah it's so no. fucking what the fuck dude that all right so there's now you kind of just sold me seeing the movie because that's yeah. just a reason to watch uh, just to you, you just want to see jared fogel predict his future there's oh Jared God. Fogle that do like just appearing. Uh, oh, what's his face? Al Pacino trying to like fuck Adam Sandler. That's weird. Yes. There's yes. Oh yes. yes. Al, Al Pacino is the best part of that movie. <laughs> There's dude. Wow. No, the weirdest cameo still is like Norm Macdonald as an online <laughs> Craigslist hookup person. <laughs> and he has three <laughs> lines. And then he is Norm. literally attached to a ceiling light hiding from Adam Sandler. <laughs> well, I, I unironically uh, hated Keepers Creepers. That movie pissed me off. Because it was made by a pedophile. No, I didn't even know that. No, it pissed me off yeah. because they showed the... It was kind of cool for like the first 20 minutes. Then they show the monster immediately and it was really dumb and then I didn't care about the rest of the movie. <laughs> like, that's really what happened. Like they, they literally they, they jumped the shark like twenty minutes in. It was so dumb. So I'm in the comments with all these a, movies. An older movie called Teenage Zombies that contained neither teenagers nor zombies, and I was really let down. 
Love it. We yep. begin. Yes. Uh, I'm Johnny. He's Kyle. He's Sean. He's Ham. He's uh, Brian, and he's Meepian. We begin. Meek. See. I'm gonna change my uh, color that, that, thing. There that is indeed his birth name, by the way. Yes, it is Meep. Yeah. First name mm -hmm. Meep, last name Ian. Show, show his birth certificate on the screen right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> his real name is Ian Meep. No, That'd be really funny as shit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, the sad part is that sounds like an actual name. I know. Meep, is your, is your actual name Ian? No, it's not. Oh. Uh, uh, we thought we thought it was going to be a Patricia Steer moment where we find out you're part of CIA because your name ends in CIA. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so we kill these tieflings, they're dead. Yep. And we now have a prison to explore. Oh yeah, uh, last session, did anyone pick up that uh, short crossbow? You. No. Okay, well I'm going to pick it up and add that to my inventory because now I, my longbow is basically useless now. Yeah, Sangudo, we lost an arm last session. Um, who did? I did. Uh, Ilga. Dex. Oh, right, shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. range of the short crossbow? Range of the short crossbow? It should be the same as the longbow, right? Is it? Or just a little short? I, I believe it is. Or just a little shorter. Oh, I want to say it's like like 60 by 320 or something Here, like let that. me look it up. Uh, is it the crossbow or the hand crossbow? Because I don't know what hand. that is. In hand crossbow. You gotta look at the mechanics. I'm, I'm looking it up. Weapons. Crossbow hand is. Uh, uh, well, well, it does this cost a hundred gold? It does yeah. one D. If, if, it does. Is it a small or a medium? Because it's a D three or medium. D, medium, so D four damage. That, that's based off of your size. Okay. So it's damage. got a range of uh, 30 foot, apparently. 30 feet. This is a piece of shit crossbow. It is, but yeah. it's all I got right now because somebody <laughs> took my fucking arm. Yeah, it's, you fell for the Sovereign Glue trap in a dungeon that's already filled with Sovereign Glue. Uh, ever shall it be. None of you move your tokens, you fucking pussies. You don't want to go into this prison? Uh, well, I'm waiting on the rest of the party, because like I said, Ilga's hanging back. No, because... Nobody wants to step in because they think there's going to be a trap. Yes, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this song and dance before, we know. And we know what's going to happen if you leave. I'm to search for traps. <laughs> All right. Sangudo, you take a step forward. Yes, I'm going to look for traps. All right. You look for traps. All right. Roll knowledge engineering or disable device. Oh, and okay. Kyle, I'm going to Kyle, after this session I'm going to talk to you about some changing stuff because I realize I didn't explain some changing the dreaming terminology to you. Okay. Because you have no idea what the crystals is, do you? I do not. Although the wiki for, uh, for Changeling is far more populous than any other World of Darkness game for whatever reason. Sangudo, you are convinced that the minute you step through that door, those double doors, you're going to die. You're convinced that there's a trap there. You can't pass that threshold. Okay. I, I warn everybody about this particularly lethal trap. It almost killed me last time. What is it going to happen this time? Is it going to be a guillotine? Maybe some spikes, or maybe a dart that flies out of nowhere. <laughs> Given that this was a, a gas chamber, from what we can guess, with those double doors. It tried to kill us. How See. far is the little chamber between the two double doors? It is a five-foot chamber. I should be able to jump across that fairly easily. And we, yes, we'll be listening to this Golisium soundtrack the entire game. Lovely. I actually have to like go back and try and big brain my way through that game again. Yeah, I can be around caving uh, a the entire game. Or just yeah, well, it's Tawaz. more so Kip. <laughs> Tawaz is gonna try to jump through this chamber to not touch the floor in this room. 
Is there an acrobatics check? There indeed it is. This game? Uh, it's roll acrobatics. It. Roll the acrobatics. Yep. Behold, Tela, as you do a running jump and you swan dive through the air and land and roll into the other side of those double doors. <laughs> I think it's safe. <laughs> At least if you don't touch the floor, it is. Well, seeing you though she didn't die, so uh, maybe it's safe? And Brad just walked right through, so I guess it is safe. <laughs> uh, I'm going to jump. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Loop. All right. Click the acrobatics. Just for fun, click the acrobatics. Hey! Very flashy. Do we get to... All right, we get our nat 1 and nat 20 out of the way. As is is you jump, Sangudo, you do a parkour. You spring off the wall and spring off the other wall and just manage to get through without touching the floor. And an amazing feat of athleticism. Was that mm -hmm. necessary? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe... <laughs> that armor looks heavy. You, you. I think you can just walk through. No, no. I, I, I just set off a trap. I, I should try my best to jump as well. Let's see. All right. Well, Joseph, you managed to just jump and like land right at the edge of the threshold. Uh, you probably would have made it if it wasn't for the armor, but you land there and. Well, he didn't clear the jump, so I guess there is no trap. I like wince as I as I as I hit the ground, and I kind of look around with one eye open and see if anything's happening to me. Ilga shrugs. He's alive. <laughs> uh, I just kind of just walk it off and pretend I didn't just act like a fool. <laughs> Looking around. Hello, I remember reading those prison records. Fifteen cells in this prison. Is anyone still alive? Yes. Well, we are. I believe Ryan has been muted this entire time. I believe so. He's got the little microphone with a slash mark through it. I can't hear a word he's saying. He's eating. Oh. He doesn't want to eat in the I'll, microphone. I don't care if you're eating. Eat in the microphone. Oh, I'll get, get my sun chips out from under the <laughs> under the desk then and, and loudly just, eat just them. Make, make the ASMR video. Hello, and today we are going to be reading the Holy Bible, the King James Version. I'll see episode, him more like Terrar and Deguelo. Uh, wait, who? I gotta pull up his picture. Um, I don't know. I was trying to be Mitch Grand Giovanni, whatever the fuck his name is. Mitch Grand Giovanni. Matty Tingles. Uh, I don't know. You don't watch ASMR, but I do. I do not. Because I, I find it these very, things. very unsettling. Nuts. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Um, he's got this like, particularly cursed video, I remember. All ASMR is cursed. See, I'm looking for it. I found it. Uh, yeah, so blow this, uh, blow this link up, up on the screen. Uh, place it in usual chat. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Rick and Morty ASMR. There's one moment in here that's fucking perfect. Hold the fucking phone. <laughs> You're pulling this up right now? <laughs> it's on, yes, it's on screen. <laughs> Just have that play in the background for a while. Oh, Morty. Morty, I did it this time. I accidentally killed Superman. No, nope. uh, with... no, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. To the audience it's, watching it's, at it's, home, it's, I apologize. His old, his old content is terrible, but he really did get better as time went on. I'm sure. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so we are looking through cells. Uh, what do these cells look right. like on the inside? Just like uh, two benches and a piss pot? There, there's, there's like, what, no, it's not even a piss pot. It's a grate that you piss and shit in. In the middle of this room. Well, at least the pot isn't, like, sitting there smelling like shit the whole time. Yeah. 
Along with that, there's two beds. Both of them are cut wooden slabs that are chained to the wall. That does not look comfy. I don't trust the wood. As Tala goes yeah. through it, she's gonna cast an acid splash on the wood. As yeah, you're acid splashing the wood, uh, it seems that no demon has touched these or put salt on them. So yeah, the wood is real wood as you dissolve it. I miss grass. Oh. Uh, before the spot what happens, I am going to be gone for two minutes. You better not be in dead silence while I'm doing this. Cancel the episode. I'll be okay. right back. What, what's going on? Uh, he's going to go I'm take a piss. All right. And we're not supposed to be in silence. So yeah, everyone we... <clears throat> So uh, how about that local baseball team? <laughs> <laughs> Speak it. That's, that's actually funny you mentioned that because uh, I did actually go to see like a, a local <clears throat> single eight baseball game. I saw the Frederick Keys play the, uh, what was it? The West Virginia Black Bears. Single A is pretty fun to watch because it's no, there's no pressure, there's no, there's nothing really like yeah. crazy about it. It's just go there, watch a game, and like wow. enjoy. Like, yeah, you it was whoever got the coolest uniform. It was a <laughs> really no pressure for us. There's a lot of pressure well, on the players. It was a really so. small. Uh, it was a really small crowd because it was like a Tuesday night, but it was like Austin Powers night. So you had people walking around dressed up like you know one guy dressed up like Austin Powers, one guy is Doctor Evil, and one is um. What was it? Uh, one is mini me. The entire house smells like burnt popcorn. Did you oh, burn yeah. your popcorn? You burn your popcorn? popcorn. No, we were talking you about we were talking about trip, uh, single A baseball. All right. I sure do love it when they win at that game they play. Right. <laughs> right? Yes. It was ten to four. The keys fucking crushed him. It was great. Such an inspiration. Right. He belted like a three hundred and eighty foot homer. I was impressed. And we begin. Yes. Right. We still have the rest of this prison to explore. Oh it's no, Brad gets shanked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is it with a short sword? Is it prison? Anything? He probably does have a shank on him. He's prison, yes. He's using against two, he's the only prisoner. Yeah. Well the other ones have been executed. That doesn't mean eaten. made that into doesn't mean food. Gets rid of his shank. There's demons about. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. See. Uh, Broadbox, you're approaching. You're getting like this, like weird, like pubic pheromone smell coming around the corner. Thanks for putting that in my nostrils. You have to smell <laughs> somebody who just had an orgasm. It's not like I was in the middle middle of eating nachos or anything. <laughs> yes. Now fuck your nachos. Nothing. You need to be immersed. Wait, what? Whenever I eat, eat nachos, I think of coming. Same smell. That, it, it, no, it fucking is not. Where are you getting your nachos that smell like <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. That's disgusting. I got, I got my, you need to I I check your nacho man and then two consult with the doctor. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't would go to your nacho, nacho, nacho man. Nacho Larry. We're getting nachos from Nacho Larry. Where are you getting your nachos from? Guy. From Libre? <laughs> <laughs> the guy sells them out of his trunk. <laughs> yeah. Just opens it up and he's got like a fucking... What, what's, what's like a really shitty car? It's like a sedan from the 80s. A Pinto. Um, yeah, he's got like a Pinto and the trunk is just full of nachos. And a pink can full of nacho cheese. Yes. <laughs> It's no, it's just like the plastic bag that he tore out of a cheese dispenser from 7 <laughs> Eleven, and it's just sitting yeah, in the side right. of the trunk. That's it. Yeah, so we're describing a premise video. 7 Eleven, too. <laughs> we're describing a premise music video. It, it actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get my bass, start playing John the Fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, much respect for the premise. I, I can't, I'm Brad, not that good at bass. As you step around the corner, we hear something walking on all fours this com coming this way. There's a fucking what now? Yeah, production values. We have production values. See, as you're hearing, now it's much too heavy to be a dog. Hey guys, we got something up ahead. 
see you guys slowly come around this way. It shows a way to make the image bigger, but come around this way. You hear some chain doors open, and something starts stepping out. This. Oh, what is that? Oh, Jesus. Xenomorph yeah. Gimp. Xenomorph, and it has giant tits on it. Yep. This would be our succubus. What Ooh. the hell is right. that? That is... That is... Oh, way less hop succubus than I am more familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're yeah. the ones who have entered my prison. Five new people I get to eat. Five new people I get to run raw. Why don't you come closer to me? What's the range on this short crossbow? I want to shut her the hell up. An introduction like that. No. Uh, what is this? Oh, you're trying to does? shoot me. <laughs> That's, That's not going to do you any good. Uh, do you... Wait, are these in the Pathfinder PC area? Do you even know how to shoot that gun? It's a, not a gun, it's a crossbow. So, even with that cannon. Tala hearing something talk is going to use. This is a spell like ability. To summon three, hopefully three crows. Oh, uh, you're two summoning crows. three crows. I'll I go got ahead and them out. Okay, where's the crows gonna be? Uh, Are you holding your nose while you're doing this or something? <laughs> Let's see, that's 25 feet from Tala. So that will be right there. Uh, Our... up with it. Oh, oh man, it won't let me do it. Uh, they're in the, uh, <clears throat> they should be in the bestiary. Right, gotcha. You remember those stats, right? Yes, I got them. I have them up All like right. on my thing. I'll just use, uh, Partitioner as the, uh, Oh, wait, I can't make it smaller, damn it. I'll go on, scratch and bite me. I'm ready for you. Do you have a sound? Come do you on. have a Do you have a voice changer now? That would be very impressive. Come on. It's time for you to roll initiative. <laughs> That's fucking creepy. It's so <laughs> creepy. That might be your best voice yet. Yes. <laughs> Unironically, I mean that. That is the best voice I've heard you do. Oh, oops. That's a four. See, if I was playing as Marcus, I'd, I'd pull out the six-shooter. Has everyone rolled? I think. Okay. I'll... Did you see well, technically around. the crows? Because they came la 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 uh -huh. <laughs> the crows have all sworn up for initiative. <laughs> hey man, that's better than nothing. Hey guys, we're doing great over here. Oh, you yeah. just take care of everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm uh what? I'm not optimistic about this fight. Okay. So top it around, Sangudo. You see the first thing this succubus does. Using her hand, she put pushes down onto the ground. You start seeing all this like red slime coming out of her hand. As she pulls her hand up, uh this appears. A severed okay. hand? That's an individual monster. Mm -hmm. It's a hand made out of bloody slime that comes out of the handprint and start, starts making its way over here. Zangudo, your move. Kind of fight you'd really like to have some spell slots for. <laughs> Thank you, John. Very cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna duck around the corner and hide. Uh, roll the stealth. Bit too subversive. See, and the crows will be moving. Bradbox is a monk. We'll have to have a move first. Stealth. Uh, yeah, you definitely ran away and killed us in fear. Is that all? Uh, yeah. Alright, Elgar, your move. 
Uh, huh. I've got 30 feet of movement. And the range is another 30 feet, I think. So, no. Um. Actually. Ilga's going to move forward 10 feet behind the crows, crouch down, and once she gets within 30 feet, or anything gets within 30 feet, she's going to shoot it with the crossbow. And that'll be it. Alright. Action held. The succubus is grinning as she's looking at you, just sprawling to like try to find some sort of solution in fighting her. She's very pleased about the confusion. Also, um, do you want me to add proficiency to the crossbow shot since it's a ranged weapon, or no? Go, go ahead and add proficiency. It's my turn now. Wait, do you have a balloon and an alien helium? Why do you think I'm doing? Uh, yes, actually. You're gonna fucking pass <laughs> out before this session's recall. ended. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear a thud and then silence in session over. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just Succubus angle summons angle another here. handprint. Later oh, boy. On. Yeah. Right. And hands move. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're hanging in your direction. Yosef, your move. Wow. You said. Bar. From here, I don't really think I could do anything. I don't have anything ring. I'm gonna be spell slots. You're the melee build. Yes, you're out of spell slots. You're gonna run out of helium before the session's over. I know. <laughs> I got more balloons than you two, bitch. <laughs> I can't. I can't. He just went to the fucking store and bought just like 20 birthday balloons and they're like, what are you using all these balloons for? Ah, oh, birthday party. Well, there's now, a game I run, my, it's known as Pathfinder. My first last turn, last game, but did you use my, um, my channel energy? That's a spell like No, I did not use your channel energy. You still have Ooh, that. That is good. Channel the divine energy. Use it to destroy this vile beast. I still can't hit her from here, but at least when I do get closer, I can do something. Liquefy her body, body into a paste. Destroy uh, her. You sound um, like you're from Warhammer. <laughs> they have tried well, to indoctrinate me forever. I will hold my action until someone gets within my range. Ah, that's another balloon done, Brad. Let's see what you can do. What should I do Apple. if you if you pass out during this session? I'm very excited to see what you're going to do when I pass out. I want to hear the capture. <laughs> so you're, I'm just going to be recording. I'm going to hear a boom as you fall on the floor, and I'm like... <laughs> Oh fuck! I gotta fucking call his parents or some shit. Oh god! <laughs> Go get shot. Fucking nobody under twenty eight can afford their own house anymore. Yeah, it's like go get John. He just inhaled too much helium. Help! You got contact high. <laughs> that song contact. was supposed to loop, and that just stopped playing. Too much helium, or the right amount of helium. <laughs> too much. If he passes out, then it's too much. Yeah, thank you for posting 3D Squelton, by the way. <laughs> 3D? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Should I play that? Hey. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, pro you, you might get claims like, just like, minimize the window. Oh, okay. Boo yeah, put oh, it in the corner. Boo-hoo! Hey there, guy. Brad, you don't said. know what to do. Oh, boo -hoo. It's just that the world what am so I going to do? So much yeah. hate How far evil. can I chuck something? Just doesn't see a point okay, how far can you throw? What point? is your strength oh, score? A whopping right, 13. Tough. At 13, you're able to throw something at most 10 feet. Oh, well, shit. If you're talking about the flower bag. Yes. Oh, also, we're still level one, correct? Yes. Yes. Nope. Okay. 
A giant crack of shit that is level one. <laughs> so, like, one of us almost got fucking insta killed in my Strahd game, and we were so fucking thankful to be at level two. <laughs> Pretty sure my movement's 30, but I can't find it on the sheet. It is, it is 30. I found it. I found it. Uh, so what is it to run? It says I got a 120 foot that, run speed. That's Jesus. an action. That's an action? Alright. And what is, what is throwing the bag of flour? That, that is also an action. Alternatively, you could just let the bag of flour go and then run back. Well, I, I gotta rip it open and toss the flour into the air so that it don't explode. I can't yeah. just toss a bag of flour and hope that it'll explode. Yeah, it's just gonna set on fire. Well, I'm hoping that's what this will do. Yeah. Right, cool. So, get yourself in position because you're probably gonna run next turn. Uh, I'd have to run here. Yeah. That's it for now? Uh, if I need to get myself into position to toss the bag, then I would want to be up there, right? Yes. So I guess I'll run here. Alright, attack for opportunity! Oh yep. yeah, the, the fucking hand. Alright, fucking hand. 12. I mean, I can always do this. Yeah, that instead. Alright, so never mind. It probably didn't hit anyway, so. Yeah. What was it, 12? No. Uh. Yeah. Uh. No. Unless I'm flat footed. Alright, no, no, even I, so. Now you're running. <clears throat> even so. That's. Alright. Tell Law, you have a plan. What is it? This is a wonderful time for him to be muted. I just realized I'm muted. GG, bro. No, I do not have a plan. The crows were just a distraction for <laughs> use up an attack. So the crows will dash to here. And then technically one there. And one. Let's just here. here. Okay. Right. So. The other one in. Crow here, crow yeah. here. Uh, yeah, both crows, like one there and one there. They have 80 right. feet if they do double move or run, I think is the auction. All right. And where's the and third? I, uh, the third crow was, I got a little hopeful. I only rolled two. All right. It is only two crows. All right, only two. So the crows will move there. Tala will then... Move to. Uh, yeah, she'll move to here. And we'll summon a proper put our petitioner, at, which will move at the end of her turn. So let me. No, I don't want to open the. Track. There we go. So that, and then it can move on its turn. So it's going to move to, or do double movement to move to 60. It'll be right up next to Brad. Or I'll go. All there right. Go. And that, Wonderful. that'll be Talaz's turn. All right. Top of the round, Sengudo, your move. Looking at that hand. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to... Sneak back around the corner and shoot this hand thing. All right, take the shot. Is it, 
That hits, and that kills. Oh, nice. Groovy. Just shoot it with the crossbow bolt, it splatters across the floor. So these things aren't exactly the sturdiest uh, monsters in the book. Nope, they're there to slow you down. Well, I also wasted my sneak attack, so there we go. All right. Would you like to sneak into this cage? Uh, sure. Why not? All right. All right. There you go. I don't think Carnation exists in this game. All right, Ilga, your move. Okay, so seeing Bradbach dashing forward with the bag of um <clears throat> with a bag of flour in his hand. Uh would lighting one of her crossbow bolts be an action or a bonus action? That would be an action. And the lantern is right here. Yeah. But I can't walk through her, so I'm gonna burn all my movement doing that. Do I have tinders on me? I don't think I do. Uh, I do not have tinders on me, and I left the and I left the lantern back in the middle of the hallway, or the other hallway, because I was holding on to the crossbow. God, only having one hand kind of fucking sucks, fellas. Um, <laughs> fine, I will go towards the lantern, light one of my bolts, and then use the rest of my movement getting here, and that is all I can do. One of my bolts is on fire now. Let's see. All right. I'm pulling up what a spell does. For some reason, I just can't have a typical... All right, there's a spell. So, as you're coming closer, the succubus looks at you and grins. And she is going to cast a spell as she jumps backwards. Behold, ethereal jaunt. Ethereal oh. jaunt. And leaving where she was, had her hands pressed. One, two, three, four of these. Shit. All right. That fucks up my All plan. Alright. Bradbach, this one that already existed runs over to you. Goes in for a punch. 17. Uh, yes, that'll hit. Where the fuck she go? <laughs> Hits you for two damage. Ethereal plane. You bitch. Yes. Alright. You have to fall on your move. Demons. Um. Um. I guess I'll move forward. I'm just out of range. Yeah. Um, I'll do the same thing. I'll hold my action until someone gets in range. All right. Brad Bach, your move. Was that technically a melee, uh, like an, an arm attack? Yes. I get opportunity attacks, right? Against melee attacks uh, or on armor attacks? See, if it's a melee attack like this, then no. Oh, uh, okay. Because then it'll be constantly going off, and then the monk would be completely useless. So the monk oh, has actual yeah. attack. Yeah, I get, yeah. I get, a, um, I get three attacks uh, with uh, opportunity attacks. So like, yeah. no, no, yeah. that's not like a, that's not like a general rule because I know we list uh, attack of opportunity conditions, and unarmed attacks was one of them. That's not the case if the enemy's only attack is a melee attack like that. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I yeah. just wasn't sure. Because it just says, um... Yeah, if you just... It, like, if for the tieflings, for example, if that character had a melee weapon and you disarmed them, then that starts going off. Alright. And I figured these guys being hands wouldn't be able to... It's hard. Um... Yeah. And also, monster class ooze. Uh, I'm gonna give this thing a kick. All right. Make oh, your attack. Remember, do not stunning. click. Don't click for your <clears throat> blows. Just click gauntlet. 
Yeah, no, I got rid of Fury. Alright. It's gonna be a, um... Stunning Fist. Or, or Stunning Foot, in this case. Right. And I'm trying to kick it back toward the other four. I don't know if I can do that or not. All Jesus right. Christ. Well, that's two bombs. How How is it Grim can roll fantastically, but Brad... Shit. <laughs> Everybody has a cursed character. I don't understand. If Believe it or not, yeah. Colt is cursed. Yeah. Colt Windriver is a cursed character. He will ace any RP roll, but as soon as he gets in combat, he bombs everything. It is incredible that you go back and forth with these characters because you are our overachiever in Werewolf and you're an underachiever in Pathfinder. Yeah. Yes. Just, just two days ago, I was rolling. I couldn't roll below a 20. Yeah. It was fucking phenomenal. And then yesterday, I was rolling. It was like an average of, what, 10? Yeah. yeah. Well, I do the it's same eight. thing because it's like I'm playing Marcus in my Storm King, st or no, my uh, Curse of Strahd game. And I fucking rolled three nat 20s in a row. The very next day, I play as Colt, and I can barely roll above a 12. It's ridiculous. Which is why in combat, I did only spells that needed saving throws. Right. Dela, your move. Alright. Dela. Uh, first, just to get him out of the way, the two crows are going to attack hack the uh the hands <laughs> so they will both do a bite attack which is uh d20 plus four and another one All right that's a mm, that's a hit and then wow and then uh, both the... hits all right these creatures have one hit point they're both dead uh, they actually might are, they might not. If I I forget how it works. If it's the minus four, I think yeah, I, they can only deal one damage. That's how that rule works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the crows deal exactly one damage, and they both also disappear because of how short that cooldown it or that spell lasts. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Get rid of some of the minions. Um. Yeah. Partitioner is going to move there and attack. He's flanking me as advantage. So that's technically he'll do these two. Wow. All right. We didn't. Uh, we did not need to roll advantage because there's <clears throat> only one hit point. But yeah, that's a kill. All right. So that thing can do that. And. Then it can move because it hasn't moved or move to there. It can move a little further. We'll move mm -hmm. to there and essentially look as mo as much like bait as humanly possible to the succubus. You know, it like kind of rolls up its sheet, shows a little bit of lower leg, just tries to lure out the succubus. Yes. <laughs> and then. Tala will ready up a uh, acid splash if needed. You see Obelisk. He's got his arms crossed over his chest. Uh, that, um, it's not supposed to be the Steven Universe salute, but that's what it ends up looking like. As he's focusing. Back wall. Just there. Wait, which way is he pointing? Down this yeah. wall? Yeah, this wall. Yeah, oh, that one. Okay, fire. okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Good to know. And my arrow's still on fire. All right. Zangudo, your move. Are uh, continuing to be stealthy. Uh, I would like to. Move into this cage here, like so. All right. Full stealth. Oof. All right. Uh, maybe we're hidden. 
No, no, that's a coin toss. Yeah, these oozy hands don't seem to be very clever, but we'll see. All right. Elgo, you remove. All right, so uh, following the tiefling's instructions, uh, she's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, use my action to dash. 60 feet, and I am going to wait for him to approach the back wall so he can throw the flower, and I will use the fire arrow. And she's going to relay the message to Bradbach. Back wall! Throw flower at it! You got it. Alright. Somebody's moving through the ethereal plane. 10, 15... 30 feet. Somebody causes something to happen in the ethereal plane. That lantern falls off the wall. Shit. So off the ceiling. And falls right here. Then somebody still has movement. And somebody ends their turn. As for the hands. Looking at you, Petitioner, we're going to attack you twice. Alright. That 16 hits, doesn't it? 16, I know, has to hit it. Uh. Yeah, it's. Yeah, AC of 16 meets it, beats it. Alright. So, 4 damage. Alright. Wolland, your move. Okay. Um, I am going to Is this on the fire or next to the fire? Next to it. Okay. And I am going to actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I'll do this instead. Because I probably realized that fire is likely to spread, and I'm going to attack him. All right. All right, that hits, that kills. Nice. It's amazing. <laughs> With three slashing. <laughs> um, and that'll be my turn. All right. Brad Bach, your move. Uh, I'm assuming that she's moves back to the original area, so I'm going to move up go about maybe 10, 15 feet. And I'm going to launch the... Uh, uh, I'm going to rip open the bag and just start uh, waving it as I run back to fill the All entire right. hallway for as far as I can move. Right. Sorry, I'm not on my computer just... right now. You should start running back. I got so a headache, so I decided to lay down. 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, move your token for you. Thank you. All right. Tala, your move. All right. Tala has no idea where the fuck this thing is anymore. Seeing the lantern fall over there. Well, I will just move there. And... Does she have anything? I will help Do her here. Uh... No, she does not just yet. Oh, wait. Yeah. So I will, uh... She has one use of this per day, and now looks like a pretty good time to use it. We'll cast Obscuring Mist. So, Ooh, also radius five feet. Yep. Uh, stationary vapor, twenty foot radius from me. All right, twenty foot radius from you. We'll get the circle ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Twenty foot radius. All right, and she'll put it in this hallway. All right. 
Right here? Yep. Not quite and... center, there it is. And then the partitioner will attack. That hits, that kills. Yeah, All nice. Right. And then the partitioner will move... Uh, well, here. And that will be its turn. All right. Zangudo, be blessed that you rolled such high initiative. Your move. Um... I would like to... Um... Oh, I guess the question is, do I realize that I kind of whiffed my stealth roll? All right. You feel exposed. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to hide more deeply in the shadows. All right. That looks a lot better. And then I would like to hold my action to shoot if the succubus reappears. All right. Ilga, your move. Uh, seeing that Bradbach had went back down that way and now there is a cloud of mist over here, she is going to position herself 10, 15, 20. Let me... Actually, no, that's that's the wrong thing. Hang on. Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay, she's going to position herself right here so she can... Whenever the thing pops out, she's going to she's going to light it up. All right, rereading connect jaws. Make sure you're making sure I'm casting the spell right. All right, yes, it does. Psychopaths move. So ten twenty. Sanguda, that cell door closes. Okay. I and you hear it lock. Not to... And you hear it lock. Oh shit. <laughs> 30, 40, 50 feet of movement. End of turn. Roland, your move. Okay. Um. Bar grows. What was that? Fire grows. I oh, see. Hold the flames. Uh, you are casting I... a touch of law. Yeah, on uh, on uh, Ilga. All right. I'll just Cast... I'll just kind of walk by and put a hand on her shoulder and say, um. I think you could give some assistance. Uh, and she has been assisted. Behold, you've been touched of law. Oh, cool. What does that do? Uh, it's, in the, it's in the chat. As round... Natural d20 resulted in an 11. You can use this ability... Number to... Wait, hang on. Oh, so, so wait. It's just... It just automatically rolls you a... What the hell? Yeah. 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 What? It's like glibness. It's like glibness or the eloquence bard. Oh, weird. Yep. Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, touch of awe is uh, it's a good one. Yeah. I'm, I'm partial to it now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Brabok, your move. We still don't know where she is. You ran back with the flower bag open, right? Oh, uh, what was that? Did you run spreading flower as you were running? Uh, so I went to where they said that she was. Uh, or actually, wherever the, um, the lantern fell, actually. Yes. And he was, uh, he opened it, started spreading it back, and then as he was running back, he was spreading it as far as he could. All right. Rabbi, that, that cell door containing Zingudo has closed. Shit, she's somewhere near me, isn't she? Um, I can't open that. I don't have keys. Then good, are you good? Uh, I do not respond because I'm trying to be quiet and sneaky. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna run past some. 
Uh, I'm going to head toward the others and keep my fists up. All right. Uh, I'll, that'll be my turn. Uh, I'll hold an action to um, throw a baton if she appears. We'll do we'll do sense of justice this time. Sense of justice. All right. It's a lie. Your move. Uh, yeah. Toa is going to stay in the center of the uh, center of this fog cloud. And let me double read how this uh, five feet away. Moderate wind. Uh, yeah, she's going to ready up an acid splash if this thing comes out. And the petitioner's gonna just run like this. Mm hmm. All right. That's 30 feet. Out. Yep, just right. run around. See, Sangudo, you're looking up at this flower that's, that spread. You heard the torch fall. Roll a knowledge engineering or a knowledge. Mm, or a survival check. Okay. Uh, I'll be engineering. Alright. Uh, engineering? So, that fire. You better hope that dust doesn't drift over to that flame. Because if it does, that will stop the dust explosion. Brad just spread it through the dungeon hallway. That catches, that's going to explode, and you're behind these bars. Uh huh. You're next to a lit time bomb. Okay. Would you like to also roll a Knowledge Arcana? Sure. That... That mist... That mist will save you from the explosion. That will put out the flames of the explosion. Because it's all fire, no force. So we gotta pick this luck today, and then get in that mist. Okay, yes, I would like to pick the lock as quickly as I possibly can. Disable device. Alright. So looking at what you just rolled. Alright, Sangudo, we're going to leave this up to a d20 fate. Huh. I... I'm in danger. <laughs> See, that's uh, uh, just a straight d20 dice roll. Oh, you want me to do that? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's just enough. Uh, pretty, uh, not your best lock picking job considering that you're picking the lock from the inside of the door instead of the outside. But you do manage to get it open. Okay. And then I want to run into the obscuring mast. And ideally, stealth again. Right, immediately stealth. All right, Dolphin Dive, hold stealth. Yuck. Right. See, maybe we should have been lighter on the footsteps. All right, Ilga, your move. Okay, uh, seeing um, seeing Sanguda retreat into the uh, into the mist, I realize that the mist will probably put out my flaming arrow, which is probably ruined now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you should be able to actually shoot through it with a flaming arrow. True, but I'm standing it's... within yeah. this big trail of dust right in here. And this oh. is... So, yeah. uh, I am in a bit of a pickle right now. I feel like I should put out the arrow then, because... Flames here, dust all the way through here... Uh, yeah, Ilga's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20 into the, or 25, 30 into the mist. All right. 
you run into the mist. Succubus moves. You look at where Obelisk is looking. He is looking directly upwards. And my arrow just went out because I stepped into the mist. Beautiful. Great, great, uh, great, 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 great. All right. Fun. So, yeah, Obelisk is looking directly at the sky. You can only assume that she's directly up there. Oh, it's so funny watching you run around. You have no idea what to do. Look at you, you're all hogs inside of a trap. <laughs> yes, if you move. I don't like this girl. Um, if we can follow her girl, I don't know what that thing is. Yes. What and are your pronouns? I, I'm running in and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do what I should have done in the beginning because I've been really low on movement. And I can totally do Agile 3. Alright, there's a free action. Alright. Oh, no, never mind, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. It's only one round. Alright. So you step into the mist. Brad Bog, the dust explosion goes off. And that is one dead partitioner in the dust explosion. Yep. Did, uh, did I get her? As you you just see, just hear the whoosh, and it, it doesn't go by the mist, but it just fills this hallway. As. Uh, well, that if you stick your head outside the mist, you see that just the stone and the bars of this dungeon are scorched black, and the entire hallway is now dark. Oh, Obus moves, brings our prisoner. All right, Mystery Man has a spell. So we are dropping this. Oh, oh shit. Thank goodness. All right. And see, this is what a willpower save? Or just no save at all? I don't think this is a save. It says I'm making the save. Oh, no, no, it is. Just okay, so I am just making the willpower save. That's not a success. Fuck. All right, and there she goes. Wait, what? That wasn't a, a 21? How about it's over? What about the what hands? The All right. All right. Well, well, at this point, like, I don't care about the hands. I'm getting rid of the hands. Oh, they just melt? Yeah. What a world, what a world. Did, did she vanish again? Mm -hmm. So I would see the huge influx of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Would she know how high a spell of banishment is? I uh, roll knowledge arcana. That is, that is pretty strong. Just looking at that. No, we don't know what spell was just cast. All right. But Toa would shake her head. No, the magic that surrounded her is gone. And there was another power source that happened before. I don't know what it was, though. Or, sorry, we don't know what that was, though. That was... Fine. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm actually going to head out. Alright. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to cut out like this, guys. Hope you feel oh, better. Yeah. It's See snoozing. You. See you later. Have a good one. Alright. So, coming out, Obelisk has a human prisoner with him. You look at this guy, he is dressed in black robes. Uh, granted, they are in horrible condition. He has what appears to be like a hair clip in his hair. That looks like a stag beetle. Who is this? 
this is a this is one of the prisoners here dragged off further somebody that was sharing a cell with Is there a reason you didn't tell us about the other prisoner? You don't trust me. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. And yet he make demon vanish like that. Who is he? Who are you? Is he... Is he's going to step forward, his hand to his chest. My name is Bastol. Bas what? Basil. Like, like, yeah. I am someone who speaks to the star of Tohan. Uh, do I know what that is? Alright. Knowledge planes. I do not. Alright. What would, would I have the knowledge planes? Oh, sorry, no. Uh, knowledge nature instead. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Knowledge geography, that's what it is. Okay, that I do know. Oh. Uh, Elga, that's a planet in the sky. You speak to other planet. Let's see. Oh, you're, uh, you're aware that it's a planet, not a star. My tribe were stargazers. We knew the difference. They glow different. Oh, so you know something about astrology. Okay. It's easier to explain this way. From the sound of it, as Albusk has told me, some of you are arcane casters already. Uh, Ilga points to, uh, to, uh, fucking Tala. Oh. I am. Oh, we are. Arcane Caster. Oh, good. Where have you received your power? Tala kind of looks... Her eyes roll back. We don't really know. You we don't simply know. woke up like this one day. <laughs> are you familiar with the concept of messiahs? Or, er, yeah, we are. Wolan, well, this should be ringing a bell in your head. Zap. Uh, Basil continues to look at you. I, I'm not being a uh, braggart by any means. I'm just speaking the truth that I happen to be one of those messiahs. Oh. Uh, very interesting. Yes, the domain I follow. The exact path I follow is the path of neutrality. Very interesting. I, tr I tried to be an, uh, an adjudicator, a moderator in, in all affairs. And it seems that my studies led to me being captured as I didn't realize the need to stop my neutrality and act for myself when the demons appeared. Do you not think forces of evil would upset balance of neutrality, Mr. Neutral? I expected the elves and dwarves to be able to repel it. Seems that the armies of immortals, none of them are strong enough to repel the demon invasion. We all found that out. The hard way. Now for all the magic of the elves and the fortitude of the dwarves. It's unmatched. But... I see it's too late for anyone to do anything about the, plant, the plants now. So, you're stuck with survivors. That's all we have. Survivors. Mm -hmm. And demons. That's all we have, and my my only solution now is that I need to leave. <laughs> there is nothing else. Good. 
I was going to say before, before you depart, tell me what you know of Hellamore. He was an elvish man. Somebody who balanced the line between life and death. You see, I am Hellamore's Messiah. I too soon will straddle the path of neutrality. You follow neutrality, but in a different sense. You seem to be one who follows a more natural path while mine is more lawful in nature. What? But I seek knowledge. I seek to learn more of how one goes to this, this one knows about astrology. Have you ever entertained the idea of space travel? I'll be sure to look for you. That's the the only solution we have now. This is what I mean by leaving. I wish to leave the plant of Interia entirely. Wise decision, I think. Well, After all, ours Good. ours is not the only planet. And this planet certainly is in decline. After all, there, there is no more hope for Interia, I'm afraid. All paths just seem to lead to destruction. Um, question. How prevalent is space travel in this world? Would I expect this, to know anything about it? Would I know how... This is the first time you've ever heard of it. I see. Um... So I'd probably ask him, how, how do you plan on returning? How did you get here from the to begin with? See, I doubt I'm able to make the journey by myself, but I can at least try. That spire that's coming out of the ground, that devil spire, I think that's the key I need. It's in that there's a raw vein of magic. I can try to bend that the best I can and use it as a gate to quickly escape to another planet. May we not come with you? We will surely die on this planet. No food, no water. And our goal is also the spire. At least to get there. I can at least try to take you with me. We will need food and water for the journey ahead and are still the incubus to deal with. Was that not what you killed? That was the succubus. No, that wasn't what I killed. No, I didn't kill it either. I just simply sent it back to the event horizon. That means there is other pain and ass in this dungeon. You see, Obelisk is looking around over his shoulders, looking for where the Incubus might be. He hasn't found it yet. Since Devilman found last one, perhaps he should lead group. I, we think we might have an idea of where it's at. There's a large concentration of magic that makes things or appear coming from that room behind that wall. What's the room there? Uh, it is this one. Far off in there. Well, now we need to kill other demon thing. Wonderful. Hmm. Are we ready to continue? Yes. Yes. Onward. And it's going to be an even bigger pain in the ass than the succubus, I imagine. 
Zoop. As we continue, Obelisk and Bastel go further into the dungeon. At least now we have some sort of direction. Rather than wandering aimlessly to the waste. It is cooler in here, which is good. There we are. This dude is going to take the lead. You see that Albusk is still looking around. As uh, we walk by, we see that we've walked by another cell. Could I have found uh, the arrow that I shot earlier? Let's see. Yes. Uh, same with Sengudo. And may I reload the uh, crossbow? Yes. All right. Uh, Sengudo, we see that we're walking past the cell that Bastel was kept in. Nope. Okay. Get out of there. Seems that there was one extra hidden cell, along with this one that appears to be a secret compartment. The paper showed no record of this extra cell. Perhaps is secret? What's the investigation now, Tim? The uh, Count of Monte Cristo priority prisoners. Yep. You, ever you never read that book, did you? I did not. I saw some of the movie. I don't remember which version of the movie. I also had the sandwich, and the sandwich was delicious. I have the audiobook up, and it's pretty good. Actually, have you ever had a Monte Cristo sandwich? They're really good. Oh, they're fucking they amazing. They are. I know a place where we can get one. They're like a billion and a half calories, but they're fucking awesome. Yes, <laughs> they are. It is a ham and turkey sandwich with provolone and Swiss cheese, uh, deep fried, put with powdered sugar, and dipped in raspberry jam. On French toast. Oh, yeah. You you'll get diabetes and high and heart disease at the same time, but it's delicious. It's like slightly more, more or less healthy than a Reuben. It's up there with like slightly less healthy, healthy than a Reuben. Yeah, that's a I think so. It's fried. Human sacrifice. Oh my goodness. You step in here, we see what happened to the last two prisoners that came before Obelisk. As both of them are here, their hands and feet pinned to the floor, as their bodies are spread out in the shape of an X, as they have been cut from the chest to the groin, with several of their organs extracted from their bodies. A lot, we are sensing that conjuration coming from the two. They have been drawn and quartered, it seems. They're being used to. Tawa, knowing kind of how, uh, like the, like little of tieflings how they're made, mm -hmm. and then conjuration magic. I think that's two and two together. Tawa would immediately use acid splash on the bodies. All right. And just keep it up. It's so, as you do that, you dissolve the bodies, and behold, the tiefling process interrupted. Is there just the one? There are two bodies, and you smote both of them with the acid. Oh, yeah. Because it's 25 feet. I, uh, I'd love... You know, I, I think it'd be funny if Dusty had that, but it's literally just her throwing bleach on somebody. Yes. <laughs> Got all of my fucking hands in the middle of work one day. It's a spray bottle. Yeah, I felt my hands getting hot as I like made my way to the bathroom. Yeah, that's probably not good. Uh, yeah. I used to work with bleach. I, I used to work with um, hydrofluoric acid. Oh Jesus! Yes. Hydrofluoric was was bad because there was no smell and you didn't know until it was like burning you, and that's shit could burn you to the bone. Um. Yeah. But the we also use muriatic acid, and that stuff literally had like greenish yellow noxious fumes that would like would like burn your trachea if you inhaled it. Uh, it's, it's horrible. 
It's one of the key ingredients in making meth. Is it? Yes. I did not know that. We use it for cleaning, um, uh, just a pressure washing brick and like uh, masonry. That you guys want to make like some meth? You can job. just get all the stuff to make some meth at Lowe's. You can just go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot and get some, get the meth ingredients. Literally, just play yeah. Payday too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, doing that would just build a chemical bomb in your house and it'd blow you up. Yeah, that's it's it's no good. There was all my right. it was my it was when I was working with my father. He had an idiot worker who would wear rather than the rubber gloves you're supposed to use when handling acid. He wore fucking cloth gloves and he had to go to the fucking hospital because obviously the acid soaked through his cloth gloves and actually burned him down to the bone holy he shit horrible horrible third degree burns on his hands from this <laughs> fucking acid that sounds awful because you have to be a special kind of stupid to wear cloth gloves while handling acid Jesus <laughs> fucking idiot yeah. As Tela, you're investigating something here? Yeah, I was going to look over at this case and just look around. Or bookcase. As you're looking around, perception, and we find nothing of an interest. Alright. So no documents on, on the process of how to make a tiefling. What's over here? Is that a doorway? Currently, it's a wall. Oh, it's just a wall? Okay, I thought there was a doorway there. Yeah. There was like a little cutout. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you were looking around. Uh, actually, that's a good enough spot to pin it for tonight.